Ayan, hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. So today, I will be giving you updates coming from the Department of Education and of course, some concerns coming from the Department of Education at ang isa-share ko ngayon sa inyo is itong ating action research series. Ayan, so napapansin niyo yung ating mga videos. Marami po akong uh, mga action research. So ang isa-share ko naman sa inyo ngayon is yung action research na naka-poster siya. Previously, naka-powerpoint yun siya. It's because uh, those are example of a, an action research oral presentation. Ngayon naman siya is poster presentation. So, titignan natin kung ano yung parts at ano yung design ng magiging uh, action research natin na nandoon sa poster. Ayan. So, ipapakita ko lang siya ha. Ito yung overall view ng ating poster. So, naka-poster lang siya at uh, ito yung magiging format. Ayan. So, but before that, kung hindi ka pa nakapag-subscribe sa aking channel, just hit the subscribe button na nasa ilalim for more updates with our video. Ayan, so kung hindi ka pa uh, nakasubscribe, subscribe na. And of course, if you want to grab the soft copy of this research, you can comment down your email address sa comment section ng video ito. And of course, sa mga nabigyan ko na ng mga soft copy ng aking research, congratulations sa mga iba pa nag-aantay. So wait, no, wait lamang po kayo because napakarami po ang nagre-request ng soft copy ng ating research. But... Uh, uh, patience na virtue naman sa mga antay antay lamang po because nabibigyan ko naman kayo so yan so ipapakita ko na sa inyo ngayon kung ano yung ating research or action research na nakaposter so i am Arbert Lanchita with me my partners uh, sir Eleutero Cano Jr and sir Mark Daniel Palera so my topic is all about utilization of math big books and bb among grade 11 learners in learning general mathematics and their mathematical confidence basis for mathematical instructional materials. Ayan, so meron din tayong abstract. Ayan, kasi ito yung kabuuan siya. So, i-zoom ko lang ngayon kung ano yung mga parts ng ating poster. So, dito. So, mas maganda kung meron kayong layout artist. Ayan, so, kahit i-zoom mo siya or ipiprint mo siya, klarong-klaro pa din siya. Ayan. So, ako naman, nag-hire ako ng aking layout artist. So, may abstract din siya. So, in my previous video, in-explain ko na ako na yung abstract. Abstract is the total summary of your research na kung saan uh, nandiyan na yung uh, title, nandiyan na yung uh, state of the problems, methodology, and even the results. So, lahat nandiyan na. Then, meron din tayong acknowledgement. Of course, you're going to acknowledge everything who are involved in your study. And same through pa rin siya doon sa basic research natin sa oral presentation. May context and rationale din siya. Ayan. Uh, context and rationale at saka uh, isinabay ko na doon yung ating statement of the problems. Statement of the problems ko, may apat ako dyan. Ayan. And of course, my hypothesis ako since it is a correlation. Ayan. So, sabi ko nga, hindi ko na siya isa-isahin because I will give soft copy naman. So, just comment your email address dito sa ilalim ng aking uh, video. So, meron tayong context and rationale. Right after that one, kailangan meron din tayong tinatawag natin na innovation, intervention, and the strategies. So, strategies natin dito, meron tayong input, process, and uh, output. So, for my input, of course, the impacts, the process is uh, the mathematical confidence, the output will be the instructional material. So, dapat karong klaro po yun siya na may, may diagram tayo. The next one is we have the action research methodology and design. So, ano yung gagamitin mo na na design in this research? Sa akin naman, I use descriptive correlative method. Kasi correlation naman ito. Then, right after that one, meron din siyang respondents. So, sa akin dito, may respondents ako. Ayan, the whole populations of grade 11. And then, we have also the research instrument. Ano yung instrument na gagamitin mo? The data gathering procedure. Ayan, so kung karong-klaro. So, hindi ko na siya isa-isahin because i i i binigay ko na lamang po or I actually introduce yung part ng action research na naka-poster. So, may statistical treatment din ako dito. Ayan, kung ano yung mga uh, statistical yung ginagamit natin o gagamitin or ginamit natin sa research na ito. And of course, right after that one, inilagay ko din dito yung aking discussions of results and reflection so everything na na involved doon sa discussions and results mo so pwede mo dito siya i lagay ayan so i ano ko lang siya ha paliliitin so kasi ito yung magiging format niya oh di ba so sa gilid ito naman siya ayan papansinin niyo we have the discussions pa rin siya so isa-isahin natin siya then we have the table 3 
mathematical confidence of grade 11 utilizing math big box. Ayan. So, sinulat ko lang lahat ng uh, results ng ating uh, research. And of course, sa ilalim niya, don't forget to write the legend. Napapansin niyo may legend dyan because that would indicate the description and the meaning of your uh, weighted I mean. Then, sa ilalim niya, of course, it would be supported with the discussions of your uh, table. So, ito. Dito ko naman, kung mapapansin sa table 4 ko, meron ako itong relationship between the impacts of utilization or utilizing math big box and mathematical confidence. So, we have the multiple R, the R squared, the p-value, remarks, and the decision. So, this one is very critical siya because if you don't know how to compute the data or to interpret the data much better that you will have or to tap uh, your co-teachers or mathematicians or those statist statisticians. Ayan. So, because uh, you will use the SPSS or it can also be used the Excel using the data analysis. Ayan. So, and of course, you need to uh, consult mathematicians talaga para hindi uh, masaya yung study mo. And of course, how to interpret the data. Ayan. So, the last one is, nandito siya, yung reflection, conclusions, and the recommendations. So, may findings din tayo. Ayan, conclusions and the recommendations natin. Since I have three findings, so three findings tayo, my three are conclusions. So, dapat naka-jive in yan sila lahat. For the recommendations naman, wala naman siyang limit. And of course, right after that one, it is very important that, that you will have your action plan. What do you mean by action plan? It is actually the, the plan that you have right after with the result of your research. Ayan. So, meron din siyang title, rationale, the objectives, the in-charge strategies, budget, success indicators, ayan, and signatories by the master teachers and your principal. And of course, yung ating last is yung ating references. So, ito lamang po ang kabuuan. Ayan, ito lang po ang kabuuan ng ating um, action research na naka-poster siya. Ayan, so, pwede mo din siya sa itaas ko. Tignan ninyo. So, nilagyan ko siya ng... Ah, yung mga authors, ayan, merong ating aming district supervisor sa gilid, si Sir Ferdinand Simon, yung aming school principal, si Sir Genesio J.D. Pass, at saka yung aking mga uh, teammates na nasa uh, gilid, ayan. So, I believe I am done, or we are done introducing to you the poster uh, format for action research. And if you want to grab and to have or to avail this uh, uh, action research the soft copy, Comment na comment daw uh, comment down your email address at magantay lamang po because I will send it. So isa-isahin ko lang kasi ang dami ko pang back, backlog doon sa previous uh, research ko na humihingi ng soft copy. Ayan. And of course, uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel and to share our video and of course, uh, para ma-notify kayo kasi marami pa po akong action research na i-upload sa aking YouTube channel. Ayan. So, thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you can have your copy soon. And you can make your own action research. Thank you so much.